Hi everyone, this is Angel Life Makeover and I am your host, Andrea Dumbecki from angelfairyhealing.com. I'm excited to be here today and to be connecting with the angels. I have a very special topic today, angelic connection and mastery, and that is going to be the subject of my new Angel Fall Intensive class, where we'll, we will be diving into what I consider to be the aspects of self-mastery with our angels. That includes intuition, healing, and manifesting. And so this fall we'll be spending each month on one of those topics. September will be intuition, October will be healing, and November will be manifesting. We will bringing we will be bringing in new modern techniques, new channelings for the now because I do feel we are changing so much the way that we use our intuition, the way that we heal, the way that we manifest. And I wanted to create this sacred container where we can really connect with our angels and make that time. Because you know what? We can know all of our tools, but if we don't use them, they don't work. So it's really great to take that time to work with our angels to really listen, to really channel, to really connect with our healing energy, to really focus on what are we creating in our life. So as we dive into those topics, I wanted to talk about why I created this class. It was really because I feel like we need to, in, you know, include self-help, self-mastery into our daily, our weekly routine because as humans, we are evolving fast right now. And so as we look at those three aspects, we look at how they're connected and intertwined to all aspects of our life. So intuition is connecting with our higher self, our higher knowing, taking time to listen for answers, to get higher knowledge, as opposed to being in the I don't know, disempowerment, disconnected, forgetting who we are, as a sovereign, powerful, intuitive, all-knowing being, right? We get disconnected from that greater part of ourselves and then we walk around feeling very powerless and disconnected. So it's a great reminder to listen, to practice using your intuition, practice channeling the angels, asking the universe for answers and really looking at how we receive answers. Do we hear them? Do we feel them? And when do we get a good connection versus the mind, right? When we use our intuition, when we do our own angel readings and channeling, it's really important to get that good connection and feel that the messages are real versus our mind is talking to us, that negative ego or the things we've learned versus tapping into that knowing. When that knowing comes, it comes with a burst of energy. So when we work with the angels to increase our intuition, it's all about practicing, creating that safe space, and also releasing the blocks that we may have to these powers, the powers of intuition. Maybe we weren't encouraged to use them. Maybe we don't trust the, our intuition. Maybe that voice is very small. So I love to encourage people to consciously take that time to listen to their angels, to Practice using your intuition, get to know your intuition, because I believe that's the cornerstone of our empowerment as a human, right? When we listen to our intuition, when we can channel answers, we have more knowledge about all aspects of life and we feel more grace, more empowerment with navigating our life. So next we will be focusing on healing that's a really great topic. We want to return to our whole state. We want to remember that we're whole. <coughs> and when we do healing, we look at all aspects of healing, right? We look at belief systems, programming in the DNA, in the genetics. We also look at um, collective consciousness. And then we look at body communication, why we are creating things to get what we want, what is our body telling us? And also, how do we enter that state of wholeness? How do we relax our body and get into that beautiful receptive state and make time for that in our life? And remember, everyone is different, I find. Some people really heal spiritually. Some people need more physical things. But it's really good to build 
that um, connection with our body, having a, not fearing our body, um, trusting that we can heal, reawakening our healing powers. And sometimes that has to do with healing persecution of the magical people, of the healers, and, and taking that power back that we can know how to heal ourselves. And when we do that, I love to make healing maps, which are intuitive maps where we speak to our body and we look at what we need and we just really forge that relationship, right? We want to release fear about health and bodies and bring in that real powerful truth and connection with our body and understand our own healing abilities, how to connect with them. And how to, you know, activate those beautiful energies that includes healing symbols, angel energy healing, angel Reiki, angel light language. We'll be dabbling in all of those things. Also connecting with the crystals and the mineral kingdom and all of the, and the herbs and all of the different aspects of healing. Another huge aspect of healing I find is karmic healing. Are we holding wounds in our light body, in our aura that are manifesting again in this life and what is the pattern how do we break that pattern uplift that pattern how do we also break genetic uh lineage patterns that's a big one i've been working on and and really how do we have a great relationship with our body with our aura with our chakras with our energy system and that really is about bringing the higher self into the human form and remember we are always learning that's why we take time to ask to meditate to listen and to keep learning. I'm someone that's always learning new forms of healing that I'm drawn to and I'm on this beautiful journey of really embracing um, being in tune with my body spiritually. The next, the next aspect is manifesting. I'm so excited about this one. I do feel there's all amazing new energies coming through, manifesting with the chakras, quantum jumping timelines, um, emotional alignment, all kinds of beautiful things with manifesting and getting inspired about manifesting and remembering our manifestation powers and also honoring the cycles of our life, the cycles of divine timing with manifesting and bringing in the beautiful golden manifesting power it has to do with worthiness, also has to do with karmic healing, maybe lineage healing. If like many of us, you are looking to you know, increase your quality of life. And maybe you hadn't seen that in the past in your family and you want to reach greater levels of empowerment on earth with your manifesting abilities. We'll be diving into that stuff, working with the manifesting angels. And so I'm super excited to present this class and to share some of that energy with all of you of the angel mastery, self-help, connection, intuition, healing, manifesting and bringing in those beautiful new angel evolutionary codes to the group and during these three months if you're in the group if you if you feel drawn to this class I will be doing energy healing on the group and we'll have this sacred container opened up the angel temples opened up for us of intuition healing and manifesting and I'm super excited to spend sacred angel time with that group I have a limited number of class spots open. That's class only. I'm offering the basic package, which includes the, the full class and one angel therapy session per month plus one angel energy healing. So that's four sessions that comes with that. And then the VIP package includes two sessions each month and then two energy healings. So that's eight sessions plus class. Find the sessions are a great way to enhance your class experience. If you're looking for deep healing, deep connection, I love to help people connect with their angels, gain insight and healing. So you can find out more about that on my website, angelfairyhealing.com. You can also join my Facebook group, Angel Fairy Healing with Andrea Dumbecki. I'm excited about this class, and I'm also excited about sharing all of the beautiful inspiration that the angels are bringing through for evolution right now, right? Ascension, mastery, mindset, self-help. It's all about how we are relating to the universe through our physical being, through our spiritual being, and understanding how to 
unite all of those aspects in harmony as we evolve. And the angels are great guides at this. So I'm excited to share the beautiful energy of this class with all of you. And thank you for listening. If you want to subscribe, it's on Spotify, Audible, Apple Podcast. I have lots of great episodes and I'm excited to connect with you.